Hi guys, welcome back to Dark Zone and this is the Retro Machine 2022 the 512GB version called Ultimate version of Retro Machine and this is um, a bonus video I promise, promise you a video about uh, the overclock the, the, the showcase stream that I made some days ago on two parts you already saw on the channel it's uh, about the vanilla image but this time this video will be related to overclocked image by default is not overclocked because without a good fan or a good uh, heat sink uh, it will go in bed so I just show you what you can do what you can reach if you enable the max overclock and for that you need an argon case one or a very good head sink and fan so first of all i show you the the modes that you can enable of course and this is the omega mode there's four speed mode turbo mode ultra mode extreme mode and omega mode in that case is the omega mode so you see the CPU is more than 2000 of gigahertz for the clock but not only I also enabled the ultra yes this is a, a supplementary overclock that you can enable and uh, the most powerful is uh, ultra yes this will overclock emulation station but not only it will also overclock uh, the, the games but the you see the the team just um, flow flows more smooth compared to the um, ultra emulation station turn it off because uh, um, this special overclock just made the es more faster basically but not only it provide uh, some benefits it even into games but i repeat it on that condition you very need a, a head sink and a cooling solution for your pi4 otherwise you will it will turn on throttling and uh, other issues it will become unstable So first of all, let's see the the system that are more demanding. Of course, the system that can I show you on uh, on a live stream, of course, because I cannot show system or games that have uh, licensed music, for example, Nintendo games. I cannot show you everything. I just showed you the games that uh, benefits more from. Um, an overclock and uh, some of this game I already show on the previous showcase so you can see the difference just compare two videos and uh, you will see difference instantly okay this is Sigorelli But keep in mind, I have, uh, I'm forced to use the 720 pixel resolution, and this game will benefit even more if you um, you use slow down the resolution, use uh, a lesser pixel resolution. The 720 pixel is too much for the Saturn. But even in that case, you will notice immediately the difference compared to the vanilla stock PI4. This is the Japanese version of Sigarelli. Some someone say said that this, this version runs a little better compared to the USA version. I don't think so. Three, two, but okay, if you if you compare the videos with the previous one, 
this is faster is not full speed of course I already told you that the game cannot reach the full speed anyway but it's faster compared to not overclocked PI you just gain some speed and even some photogram the first course of Sigarelli is the most difficult also the performance are way better on second track I could just just see this part this part the games is fluid I think it is even more than 30 FPS when the original was not more than 30 FPS just remember that the original never never run at 60 FPS don't forget that we, we, we talk about Saturn but to be honest the, the, the issue is not uh, is not about the the frames it not lacks frames it just uh, runs slower that's it it's lower than expected this is just merely um, an emulation issue with the PI4 which uh, doesn't have enough enough gears to to manage this game if you, if you try this game on a more powerful hardware even on Xbox series you will see immediately the difference it's uh, almost um, embarrassing to be honest anyway this the this track runs runs better compared to the first one if you if you compare with the the previous video you will notice immediately the difference with the, the first first view perspective is even better you see the game uh, doesn't have to elaborate the car so it's better The only thing is not so good to play with the internal view, to be honest, guys. Anyway, the Omega mod will uh, will do the difference there, but not only. Let's try another game that very benefits from um, an overclock, and this is Brutal Doom. Brutal Doom is a great mod, but it's expensive on performance very much. It takes a lot also to load. Okay, I just played the same level. You see the difference almost immediately. There's not slowdowns at all on this part. You see the trail. Okay, I don't see the, the games. It's... Uh, I don't see the game lacks slowdowns at all. It it still slows, but just see until now there's no any slows. Yes, the difference is dramatic. Dramatic. This game just needs overclock. You see the imp can 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 walk on the roof. <laughs> it's great. No slow down something now.
I'm not sure if I activated properly. Okay, I, I have. This is a secret of. Oh, damn. <laughs> like this. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh my. Nozzle downs. This is crazy. Basically, not 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 to slow down on this level. So you see, uh, I will show you this game on the the Max Overclock Nomiga mod without to tell you anything about. Uh, but if you start the image like that, uh, you will melt your PI4 if, if you don't have uh, enough gear, uh, an environment, a setting for for it. This this is extreme. Just look that, check it out. Okay, first of all, the, the space issues I have is resolved. I am satisfied with this amount of space, 6.2 giga, gigabytes. It's uh, almost seven and half gigabytes. It's uh, it's ne the system need those free space. Those those forget this image also have a full desktop mode. It's a computer. It cannot stay without uh, empty memory to use, for example. Anyway, just look the clock of the CPU on the upper side is two thousand and one hundred clock. Is the maximum for the PI4 plus the Ultra S yes. I cannot and I don't want I will and I and I will not release the image with this clock default no way the image will be released with the the 1500 clock which is the default clock of the PI so you see other other creators other streamer just to show you uh, the Sigarelli at uh, I don't know max overclock they they slow slow the resolution and they don't say you anything they just say you it works great but it's not because when you start the the, the game with those condition your PI will melt so if you have the setting the properly setting just go by yourself you you know what you have to do where you have to go and just uh, enable for yourself and, and see okay another short thing uh, uh, that I don't talk about uh, on the preview stream because I just added later do you remember the manager for the save states okay now there's a new option I put on the bottom for a reason you see, at the end of the list, the last option is delete all save states. Th that will delete all save states on, on one command. Just you select this and all save states will be wiped. So it's clear that you can, you must use this uh, very wisely. I put on the bottom for a reason, so you, you don't have a risk to enable by mistake okay just that uh, it's better you you just leave the option on the bottom where where is it uh, it's way better to that you erase the the save state individually but okay let's continue with our tour overclock it through so i'll show you two the most demanding games that very need uh, uh, an overclock, uh, of course, not 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 um, the PlayStation just works good with the stock. So 
no need to show anything the PSP totally different story the PSP it's uh, another system that very benefit from the um, the overclock for example games like God of War or Gran Turismo will benefit greatly by the overclock I can assure you but I I prefer to show you today because those games have too much licensed contents and I, I don't have I don't want issues with YouTube sorry but uh, I just um, okay bro però 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 but but or in Italian is però però I want to show you something uh, yes like wipe, wipe out pure another game that I can show this Okay, I'm here. Don't worry. I just disabled the music because this game has some licensed music. Okay, I this game it's uh, on. Uh, the resolution or render resolution is doubled. Okay. So it's very demanding for the system. This game have a lot of slowdowns uh, and the very need the. The overclock. I disabled the music, remember this. Nozzle downs. With the resolution double. Don't forget that. Some slowdowns there, neither one. Okay, if you want to see the, the game without the, the improved resolution, it look like that. You see, <laughs> it's way worse. Of course, it will benefit, the, the frame rate will benefit a little. Okay, let's try that one. Let's try to reduce the, um, the frame skip. They should get close to 60 frame because it not works even now it's not work a full 60 frames you can see it. you can see it. let's try to disable completely Okay, the game still does, doesn't manage to run full speed. Anyway, 
but just for, don't forget the, the original on on PSP barely reached the the 30 frames per second. So this is important thing to say because the 60 frame, which you can achieve for example, for example, on Xbox Series, it's a very emulator prerogative. Never happened on the original hardware. Okay. This is horrible with the original resolution. It's way better with the double. And uh, I can say there's not hit on performance, so no reason to go with the original resolution. Okay, I can say the, the overclock doing wonders there because I remember a lot of slowdowns. Let's try... Let's try a race with uh, the opponents. This will... This will stress... The engine, of course. You see, there's some uh, some issue there. The the audio is messed. Okay, double resolution, no no frame skip, full opponents. The game almost <laughs> al almost still. Okay, it was expected. So you can just do the the time trials, but there's too much busy on screen. So let's try, maybe can, can sustain. You see even the, the emulator just prompt to, to enable the frame skip. Okay, just enough to. Okay, I hope you understand the, the meaning of this video. I don't want to show um, results which are ex fully experimental on performance. Anything can happen. I, even I, I don't know how any games can react to the overclock scenario. I don't want to show this as default for the image. It's very important to me because I very care about the quality, you know. So, no way in the world this is experimental to me. Okay, two, two frames are too much. You see the games is start to stutter. It's uh, very unpleasant. No way you can play in that condition. On out of question so the best uh, compromise is one frame skip and uh, you can reduce the the resolution of course it's totally playable to me like that it will be way worse without the overclock Okay, let's try the, the last uh, okay let's try to disable the the resolution and uh, disable the frame skip and l let's see if um, you see without the double resolution the the games can sustain the the zero frame skip so you have to decide what to to have to sacrifice the detail or the performance. I think it, the, 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 the original resolution is ugly. Shield 
Ok. It was very interesting, but I just uh, repeat my 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 point. I made my point again. I I don't want to show a game games on the retro machine image, which are influenced by overclock because uh, you saw the the results may vary. Okay, but uh, it's good to make a video all about this of course open board doesn't need doesn't very need an overclock uh, Nintendo DS may may be benefit from but I will not show Nintendo games or Nintendo 64 nothing to say the Nintendo 64 will benefit greatly by the overclock now me I'm not problem because the drink has just run surprising good on the even on stock pi thanks to the great emulator okay there's still something that uh, i can show you for example the most demanding uh, arcades like for example tekken tekken will benefit from the overclock Let's try Tekken 2. Okay, this game I, I have some slowdowns. It's an arcade version of Tekken, so even some most demanding arcade will benefit from Oracle. Okay, it's perfect. No slowdowns. Okay, guys, we're well done with the today video. Let me know what you think. This was a, a totally dedicated to Omega Mod Special Overclock uh, Retro Machine only for those who are provided with the right uh, stuff to handle these hot temperatures and the uh, before stops let's let's check my temps just consider one thing i don't use it the the fan or oh, i have an ergon one but i don't use the fan look the temps which uh, i played for almost more than half an hour I, I don't i don't know but more than half an hour i think some demanding games and look at the temps very good very lesser than danger danger zone the, the my pi4 will work without throttling full speed great temps and i don't even use a fan because i've disabled my fan on my argon one this is all thanks to the giant head sink passive cooling of the argon one it's more than enough we are on summer, high temps, it's more than enough to handle Omega mode on PI4, so this is great, you don't have a need, if you are an Argon 1, probably you barely will need of an active fan. So, it's all for today, thanks for watching, and uh, love to my VIP, I know they care about this video, and I recorded this video for them mostly, but um, let me know what you think when we catch up on the next video. Bye bye.